Okay, YouTube. Back in uh, October, I did a video on installing Kodi on Windows 10 and programming it with uh, the uh, No Limits Magic build. So today I'm going to do another video similar to that, but it's a little bit different because instead of downloading the .exe file from the website and installing it that way, I actually used the Microsoft Store. I found this to work a little bit better. It was smoother for me on Windows 10. So I'm just going to search for Kodi in here. Find this and click install. So this just takes a couple of minutes here to download and install this. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and launch Kodi. And this is 17.6. Uh, so here we are. So we're going to come into the settings. And we're going to go to File Manager, Add Source. And here we're going to type in HTTP, then no limits, builds, dot com slash Cody. And I'll put the uh, link in the description. And I'm just going to change the name to no limits. Click OK. Come back, you're going to go down to add-ons, click on the little box here, and we're going to go install from zip file, and you're going to get this for security installation of add-ons from unknown sources is disabled. So you're going to go settings, unknown sources, make sure that's checked, oh shit, click yes and then just go back. Now your install from zip file, you should be golden. We're going to come down to No Limits and we're going to install plugin video no limits wizard zip. Give it a couple seconds, you should see up at the top corner here. Plugin installed. There we go. And you just come back to your add-ons and click on No Limits Wizard. So I'm going to go with No Limits Magic Adults. I'm actually going to grab it from the second server. And now you just wait. So if you run a little bit slow like that, just switch to the other server and see which one is running faster. You're going to get one that's going to really take off.
So now here that you're finished, Cody will automatically just shut down and we're just gonna relaunch it. If it doesn't shut down, then you're gonna have to force close and then reopen it. So here we go. We have Cody all set up now. So this I find is a lot more stable and a better way to run it on Windows, you know, through the app rather than the EXE. It's a little bit simpler to set up as well. 